The following poem is about my internet. It's been a long Friday night and I'm beginning to get weary of my living situation or the bleak outside looking eerie. Yet none of these are a concern, I concur, because in my mind, anger begins to stir. It's a small box downstairs that's starting to annoy and I'm getting to the point where I want to destroy it, but I shan't. Now I'm keeping my cool whilst I listen to the man on the phone, supposedly the tool, to fixing this problem once and for all, yet I still feel a fool. As I listen to his blabber about fixing something, someone or another, I feel my hand covers the phone in an uncontrollable smother, and I talk to my mother, who would rather talk to anyone else and anyone other than me at this point. And so I try once again to fix this box. Have you tried turning it on and off again? He slyly remarks down the phone, and now it's gotten to the point where I let out a moan. I feel my hand tighten around the phone as I enter a zone of building anger. Listen here, I say in an abrupt voice. I know you're just trying to do your job, and I don't care if your name really is Bob, Bobby, Robert or Bert. I don't care if you fix my internet. Just do it soon or you'll be lying in dirt. Actually, no, you won't be lying. You'll be hung from a noose or I'll find ravaged dogs and set them loose on the whole of your company. And I'll laugh at you when I watch you beg. Let's see how you run without a fucking leg. <sighs> now you probably think I'm a little bit angry, or confused, or even bemused, or lost at the internet that it's not being used. I hang up on the man with a plan, or so he calls it. I've had enough of listening to his shit. I think of this world, that world, that amazing online world where people from Australia, Malaysia and even Scandinavia can talk to people like me just by a click of a button, the online world where each of us are rotten, sly, secret individuals who can be free and find another 12 year old girl for us to agree that it's just another pervert all on his own and that's when I realise I'm sitting alone. I guess since the internet in this house has died, I take my first step in a while outside. I look for people I might know just fine. It's a real shame all my friends are online. The song is over, but do not fear. I've got something special, so look over here. And now we're on a different pivot. Look, it's Matty! Come to visit! And so. So here's the topic for next week's vid. Show me who she is. It's not a challenge. That, unbe forbid. Show a picture you love, your favourite one. And explain the story of how it become. Make sure you have lots to say. And Bex, we'll see you on Monday. Well, technically, you'll see him soon, but tough shit, this was my tune.